Welcome to another windy Oklahoma day, y'all. I told you that the wind is the primary obstacle for shooters out here, but on to the topic at hand. If you have any kind of hearing damage, like maybe you have one ear that's more deaf than the other, or just any kind of damage like that, you have difficulty hearing what people are saying, then you might be interested in earmuffs that are made by a hearing aid manufacturer. All the Axel products actually come from a hearing aid manufacturer. They just decided to branch out and start doing some other things with their electronics. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Tracker Blue, and this is going to be a very different product than some of the other ones on the market. Market. This may be a turn off for some of you other sportsmen that maybe have better hearing, but if you do have difficulty, I think you should really take a look at this. Now these are pretty much your standard over the head slimline protectors, except for one thing. Uh, these do block more sound than you're typically going to get from some of these slimline ones. You can see that they are quite thin, and when they're up on my head, they're pretty easy to adjust. Get over the ear. It has a good spring action, and you can see that they don't stick off the head all that far. So yeah, they're, they're pretty attractive, kind of you know easy to work with. They come in a pretty darn small package if you want to throw this in a bag. And, uh, but these do have a 27 decibel reduction rating, which is pretty darn good for a slim uh, sort of model like this. So if you look at it just as you know your basic hearing protection, it's gonna work great. It's gonna knock down the sound quite a bit, especially if you can just get a good seal on the sides of your head. But then we get into the electronic part. We're not just looking for hearing protection in a lot of cases, we're looking for hearing enhancement. We want to be able to hear range commands when we're out at the gun range. We want to be able to hear someone walking up behind us. We want to be able to hear the things around us. We want to be able to hear animals if we're out hunting. And so that's where we get into products like the, uh, the Axel GS Extreme, the earbuds that I've done a full review on. Very highly recommend these. Uh, these are things that I take everywhere with me when I go camping, when I go uh, traveling, if I go to another state or whatever. I use these so I can listen to music, I can watch videos, I can communicate with friends. These are Bluetooth as well. Tiny. I can slip them in a pocket and they go everywhere. But yeah, check out the review up here. Um, but yeah, if you want something that's a little bit bigger and more over the head, these have a lot of the similar features. Uh, so first off, you're going to see uh, here on the sides, we have two microphones, one there, one there. These are omnidirectional, so they're going to pick up sound to the front, to the back, to the sides, and all that. And the way that you switch this on, really simple, easy to, to switch this on with a glove, actually. You have this big round button. So you just snap, it kind of goes over a detent, and that means that it's on. And this has quite a range of uh, hearing enhancement that it can bring. It can really start cranking up the sounds out here. The next dial that you see over here is related to the Bluetooth button you see up top. So if I press and hold this, it will turn on Bluetooth, and then I can search for it using my phone, which I've uh, put inside this box right now just to hold the thing down. It is so windy out here. But uh, you can pair this with any of your Bluetooth-capable devices. It could be a laptop, um, a tablet, or your mobile phone, or whatever. You can connect to this, and then this is going to be your volume control for that. So these are independent. If you want to hear more of what's going on around you and less of what's going on inside your phone or other mobile device, you can change that here. Swap it around as you like. It all works out really well. And one of the really cool things about this is that when you have these on your head and you have it synced up to your phone or another radio or anything like that, you can use this as comms with your buddies. So if you're on a hog hunt and maybe you're spread out a little bit trying to find where something is, you can just have these on your head, no need for extra microphones or anything. And you can just be, you know, whispering or talking to your buddies, hands free, and you can be wandering around trying to find your game. There are also the more manual ways to connect. So this does come with a tip ring sleeve stereo cable. It's just your uh, 2.5 millimeter jacket in there and you can put it into a phone or whatever uh, radio or other kind of device that you have. So you can use this as comms that way. One of the greatest things about this is that it uses double A batteries. I love it when they stick with a standard easy to use battery. I use uh, Panasonic Eneloops in here and I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating, I've been using these on and off for about a, it 
it's about a year now, I think. It's been a while and I haven't needed to change the batteries yet. Uh, these really do last a long, long time. There wasn't any kind of rating that it said on the website of how long they should last, but I will put it this way, it lasts a long time. I've used these for mowing the lawn, doing all kinds of stuff. All right, so those are the features, those are the positives. Now we're gonna get into some of the weird stuff. These are, first off, monaural. These are not stereo. So this is going to set you apart from your walkers, your champions, any of the other uh, electronic hearing protectors that you can find out there. Typically, whatever comes into this ear is gonna go into this ear. It's actually going to be amplified inside this uh, side here and this one. And then as you get into some maybe phase differences, um, you know, some things might end up on both sides and you'll be able to figure out, get a pretty good stereo field and figure out where things are. Like I said, this is monaural, not stereo. So this is going to send the exact same, it's gonna pick up from both sides and it's gonna send one blended uh, audio image into both ears. So you will not have stereo at all. Now, this is going to be a detriment to uh, you hunters that have good hearing. If you are out trying to find game, you're listening for a grunt of a hog, or maybe you can hear something rustling in the grass and you think it maybe it's that deer that you hit earlier, you're not gonna be able to tell where it is while you're wearing these. But where this may be really handy, again, for those of you that have hearing loss, especially in one side, you're not going to have someone sneak up on you from one side. Because if you do have a stereo pair of electronic hearing protectors, it's gonna be amplifying the nothing that you can hear on that side. You know, it's, it's not gonna be helping you in any way. This one is going to grab all the information, send it to both ears. So if your right ear is stronger than your left, then you're gonna be able to hear what your left should be hearing as well. And it'll kind of mix that around. One other thing that is going to help those of you with some kind of hearing damage is that the audio reproduction in here is, the fidelity is quite low. Uh, this does not sound like the environment around me at all. This very much favors the kind of mid highs up into the really high um, frequency sounds. So we're gonna be hitting, you know, like maybe 2000 Hertz is gonna be favored quite a bit, uh, probably lower than that. So probably, you know, a thousand Hertz and then up, you're gonna be able to hear quite a bit of that. For those of us with good hearing, that's going to sound pretty tinny. For those of us that want to understand what people are saying, this is great. It's going to get all those little scintilla, the, um, you know, the plosives, the little T's, the Z's, the S's. It's gonna pick up all that information that maybe you have a hard time hearing, and it's going to amplify that and really get it to your ears. As you can imagine, if you're trying to listen to music on these, it sounds terrible. It's kind of like listening to uh, like one of those little cheap radios that you would get back in the day. Okay, that shows how old I am. People actually bought radios. But uh, you know those little tinny kind of cardboard speakers? It ends up sounding a lot like that. It is crisp, it is clear, because again, we're dealing with a hearing aid manufacturer, so it sounds better than that, but uh, you're just missing a lot of those lows and mids. If you're listening for grunts or for some of those kind of lower tones, like, you know, the, the kind of the vibrato, the, the, uh, the vibrations that you get when you're speaking, like especially a male voice, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of that stuff. But this is going to have that accuracy when it comes to hearing what people are saying. Now, if these add up to something that's interesting for you, please check it out. I put links down below. Um, I do have an affiliate link through them. It gets you a discount and it gets me a few bucks too if you buy one of these. And um, I just wanna say that uh, if there's ever been an indication that I'm looking out for you guys and I'm not giving you guys bogus reviews, this is it. I'm not talking these up like they are you know, the greatest thing on earth. Uh, these are going to be great for a certain number of people, and I think for others, it's not gonna be the right one. If you do have really good hearing and you'd like to be able to get a better stereo field, again, I do recommend the Champion Vanquish. This is a stereo model. This is their simpler one, no Bluetooth or anything. They have a Bluetooth model and they have this crazy surround sound one that has a whole bunch of speakers all the way around. So if you really wanna hear where that dangerous animal is hiding out on the brush, you gotta grab one of those. And the audio fidelity in these is unreal. I forget that I'm wearing these actually when I'm out at the range and things. 
It's like if I'm out hunting, I really do forget that I'm wearing them. It just feels like I'm in the environment. So there's a good uh, alternative for you. And then of course we have the GS Extreme. Thanks a bunch for watching you guys. Uh, yeah, I'll put links to everything down in the description if you wanna check it out. Thank you to patrons of the Destructive Arts for continuing to make these videos possible. I'll see you all around. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.